F cat. 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 Is a multifaceted tool for the understanding and the developing and the making of a new digital media world. I work on the history of reality-based media. Dance and performance studies. Technology and society. I'm quite interested in the language of apologies and forgiveness. Design and design interactions. I'm fascinated by human behavior. Uh, that's why the theater, I suppose. My area of research is interaction design. Social shaping of communication technologies. Sustainability in design. My research is into making computers creative. My area broadly is in children's media culture. A political economy of global communication. Performances and now I make mostly multi-channel video installations. A new area called visual analytics. Well, the role of communication is, is to come in and look at one, what technologies are being used, how are they being developed, and what kind of meaning, i.e. what kind of stories are being told to explain what those technologies can and cannot do. There's a tremendous uh, kind of ethical commitment that runs across uh, courses in our department. And what that means is that um, one learns in communication a sense of one's responsibility to the world and obligation to others in ways that one can engage that in rich ways to, to change one's own life, to make it richer and thicker and more uh, meaningful, as well as the lives of others. And that means not only doing work in the places where you live, but also linking students up with international opportunities. The society we live in today is a society that is constituted by communication technologies in many ways. Human beings are always shaped by their, and shape their technologies, but it's particularly important right now. So communication offers students critical perspectives and historical perspectives on understanding all of the changes that are going on right now. That is involved with arts, that is involved with politics, that is involved with urban change, that is involved with multicultural communities, that is involved with young people. My students are a, a mix of scholars and artists. So they, um, they are hungry for ideas in different ways and they know how to perceive in different ways. My interest in, in Simon Fraser came because it involved a multidisciplinary team from the School for the Contemporary Arts, the School of Engineering, the School of Computing Science, and the School of Kinesiology. And I thought, wow, this university has got it going. A lot of the people that take our first year course don't have a traditional music background. We have a, a, our first year course has 70 students in it. And a lot of those students just take it out of pure interest, but then they really get hooked and they, they realize that they do not need to have that traditional uh, you know, piano since you're four years old uh, uh, experience to continue on in this. And many of those continue to take more and more courses and uh, we get some business students who end up dropping business and taking uh, majoring in contemporary arts. I think we're not training actors necessarily, um, but we hope to, to train artists. And, and in that way, we're looking for people that have a, a, also have a, not just a joy and a, and a, and a, and a, uh, a drive to be in the theater, but also that have a, a critical faculty, that, are, that are, have some, uh, have some uh, critical view of the world and, and something that they want to put forward as an artist. And that's about taking, perhaps taking more responsibility than only being an actor. I always say, we don't need more accountants, we need more, uh, we need more artists. You want to be an artist? You want to be a producer? You have to think about design. There's an experience that you are creating for. What is your overall goal with the experience? And what are the individual decisions, and there's dozens of them, that you're going to make that are going to build that experience and tell that story in the best way? That's what design is. It's finding new things, new configurations of space or form or bits or atoms that you didn't know about before in order to solve a problem. So I teach very technical courses because I have a computer science background and I teach very aesthetic art courses uh, with on equal sides but my my strength is putting artists and technologists in the same course. CIT is kind of in between uh, the, the more arts performance uh, oriented side and the uh, technical computational side. At CIT we really again can bring in the big science 
uh, grads, but do art. Uh, this does not happen everywhere. I would I would literally say we we are a world leader, and that's why people have come from faculty have come from all over the world to do things up here in beautiful Vancouver. When I'm teaching it to my students, I'm probably teaching them things that are a couple of years ahead of the curve in a lot of ways in terms of what industry is doing and so when they when they graduate they're they're able to go out there with really really fantastic skills the more i more i do research in design and the more i i understand design the more i fall in love with it the more i find it be very very powerful it's the process of discovery that interests me in my research and it's the process of helping people to figure out on their own how they're going to do it that drives my teaching Teaching is one of the great things about working at a university, and the thing that's great about it is that it's, it's entirely surprising. Opening up uh, complexity, richness, a sense of uh, understanding of the density of the world that we inhabit um, is uh, a tremendous responsibility and something that is, is really exciting, because who knows where students take it? Who knows? What I love about teaching is this. I love being in a room with 30 or 40 really smart young people that are passionate about the same kind of media and the same kind of creative ideas and the same kind of creative possibilities that I am. By the end of a class, students can say honestly that I have opened up a new window for them to look out of the world and almost like a ray of sunshine. When you see that light go on in someone's eyes and they got it, it is just an amazing feeling. All of a sudden, their face lights up. I swear I can see the light bulb above their head. They, oh, that's what's going on. And you know now they're a little bit further along, and, and that's a great reward. We share a conversation and we share a dialogue, and the fact that you can get up in the morning, go to a place, and there's like-minded people asking similar questions or challenging the questions you ask or challenging some of the answers you come up with. Who would ask for anything different? I mean, you know, that's... That's what I love about what we do. We have the responsibility to people's futures, and we have to take that really seriously. We kind of spark off each other. We get ideas from one another. We're always coming up with new ways of collaborating because we find, you know, kind of uh, unknown treasures in other people's research. The interesting thing about FCAP is that whatever you're doing with an FCAT and you're in your lab or you're in your classroom and you step outside the street, it's the same world. Well, this is a time where you'll get to think about the world in an interesting and effective way and hopefully that you can take out of here and contribute to the world. It's a wonderful place for the making, for the thinking, for the understanding.